it going up? You live, baby. What is going on guys? We have an exciting video. You guys are waiting for it. Hopefully we'll be starting this thing today. We got Cody back over here and uh, about to get started. Well, I guess he's already gotten started. Uh, we got to pull off the MFP crank support to swap the belts and basically just put this thing back together and start it up. Yep. Camera's fogging up. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get on into the time lapse. So, I did want to point out, you know, obviously we have the MFP crank support. It does take a little bit longer to change a belt. I think that's probably the only downside of it. But keeping a crank in a car is... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of a downside, but it's nothing crazy. I mean, it just a little bit more time consuming to a process. Uh, I mean, especially on something like this that we already have the stuff out. It's an additional 20, 25 minutes to pull it off. And um, The only reason we are changing, it's not like we're changing it, the, the belt because of wear or anything. The uh, actual Whipple sits a little bit taller. So uh, the belt itself is physically about two inches longer than uh, what you would use on TBS based stuff like 2.3 or 2650. Um, on Whipple stuff, you, the belt's actually a little, just a little bit longer. Um, so that's why we're changing the belt, uh, which is, it comes included in the kit and everything like that. So it's pretty nifty. Yeah. Made in Australia, USA, baby. Made in America, not China. <laughs> 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 Anyways. <laughs> anyway. So you guys have been doing a good job following Cody on Instagram, but Yeah, no joke. I've gained like I don't know, probably like a hundred followers in like the last like forty eight hours of just doing like the track video and then yesterday's video. So let's get him to two K. That'd be rowdy. Two K. <laughs> Follow him right there. And then uh, we're going to be showing his car first start, which yeah. is rowdy. Yeah, we should be pretty very, very soon. Um, just Holly the, EFI. And yeah, so it's a Holly standalone, I mean, the basic rundown. Holly standalone, uh, MHS built motor, uh, similar spec to his. His is an aluminum block, mine's an iron block. Um, 3.8 Whipple, race ported. Um, all the boost is all these, you know, like if you look back at the old combo. Um, T56 Magnum. Build 8.8 spooled with a 315 gear. We're going to be changing stuff with the gears, as always. We always are. Um, gutted. I mean, it doesn't have anything that's in the car that doesn't need to be in the car. Um, so we get the weight down a little bit with a 8.5 cert cage in the car. BMR everything, front to back. Anything, everything, you know, PNR ice tank. All the bells and whistles. So the goal is to go very, really, 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 really fast with a 6 or 2500. So. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, faster than me. <laughs> My goal is 8.9, yeah. which... It's uh, just heavy. I mean, it's a difference between weight. I mean, that's a different, like, you know, his goal is 8.9. Um, just, but people don't understand that weight. I mean, you take a 800 pounds out of a car, 800 pounds is a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Um, so, especially yeah. at a car that weighs 4,000 pounds factory, so big things like that. Yeah, it's very different from the bullet, which is right over there. The bullet yeah. makes 420 horsepower, goes 10.7. Yeah, 10 and seven. new edges are just known to be pretty light compared to like S197 stuff, so. But yeah, but, you know, new edge, new edge is good on obviously Fox Body, you know, if you're gonna go fast, if you're gonna go stupid, stupid fast, you know, Fox Body's where it's at, for sure, but. Mm -hmm. So status update, we got the belt on, and unfortunately it seems my tensioner is clapped. Uh, the uh, stock tensioner actually worked pretty well in terms of belt tension, you know, on the previous setup, but uh, they do wear out the aluminum uh, housing around where you uh, put the 3 8 you know, extension in. Yeah, I mean, it's on, everything's fine with it, and um, it's just where the actual uh, 3 8 extension supplies into to, to crank the tensioner. It's just getting to the point where they get really brittle, and it's a common thing after, especially a GT500. It's you know, it's been off and on probably 
times. Many times. Yeah, many, many times already for uh, different things and different mods and whatnot. So uh, it just needs a new tensioner. It's, everything's on it now. It just it's uh, going to be a next piece of uh, maintenance for sure. Um, swap that on, but we're getting elbow fitted up. Get the uh, throttle body, throttle body on, intake on, and push to wrap up completion. And start her up. Yes, sir. Uh, we did have to go with a three-five. <laughs> yeah. So just because how I mean how tight the belt is. Yeah, the tight belt the belt is really tight. Just because Andrew does have a ten percent lower, so I'm assuming that maybe the uh, belt that is included in the kit is probably a stock lower. So being at the lower is bigger. Um, it just makes the belt a little bit more tighter for the uh, three-seven-five. So um, it worked for the 3.5 and then the uh, stock lower, and it's still a little bit tight for as far as belt sizes, sizes for this combination. So uh, we're just getting some more belts coming, um, but to get it started now and everything mobile again, uh, that's what we rolled with. Yep. All right, I think we're about wrapped up. Yeah, so uh, it's all mostly done. We have, we have still, still a, little, a few little things we want to tidy up and just make it look clean over the, uh, over the process. Woo! Everything's, it's there, it's tidied up. Um, right now we're uh, circulating the intercooler, getting the fluid back in it from a little bit of fluid we did drop from when we changed the core back over. Um, I saw a, f a comment uh, in the comment section, um, I don't know who said it, but somebody said, well did you check the, did you bleed the intercooler system? Um, this isn't a pressurized system, it's just a pump that circulates, gets flow through it and it circulates through the intercooler. And I mean, to touch on this a little bit, um, this will show you the intercooler pump on a 1314 is actually pretty stout and it's not a dud. Um, we've checked the actual pressure from this pump coming straight out of the pump and it's flowing the actual GPM rating what the manufacturer states so it's it's not like it's like it's a, it's a dud or anything like that. And you know a way we can verify this is if you come over here and look at the intercooler itself this is the return line down to the bottom and if you pinch it it gets circulation actually into the tank and that's just flowing that's it, essentially flowing what a 1314 pump should just from eyesight alone so um, we're getting circulation through the system itself so um, as far as fluids and going through the system that's no issue no concern there so just uh, checking everything over and little things like that is you know just key maintenance items and make sure everything's working the way it needs to be working yeah look at that blower yeah boy <laughs> Good. It looks good. Rob the tune maker, shoemaker, sent me over a tune, so I already got that flashed on. Uh, the only change he had to make was for the Whipple throttle body. So I guess we're ready to fire her up. Hold on a sec, I'm going to film on the phone too. Alright, I think we're ready. Um, sound, I sound like I could hear something. Like a vacuum leak? Is it going up? You lie, baby. Well, there we have it. We got it to start on the second start. Um, it was just the EGR uh, SIP sensor. The vacuum wasn't referenced, but we are good to go. And uh, we have a few more things to clean up. Um, some of the vacuum lines are kind of just connected and plugged and we're gonna kind of route it up much better. And uh, I think we also have to pull the belt back off of it. I think I might need to get a new tensioner. My stock tensioner is not happy. Uh, the Basically the thing that allows you to bring it down uh, in the 3 8 end is just stripped. It's very common on 1314s. So I think we're gonna replace that and try to get a longer belt. But 
we are running and I am super excited. I'm gonna go ahead and start it one more time and pull the car forward and yeah, we still got more to go. We got a dyno Friday. We're looking pretty good. Today is Monday, so I think I might put this video out tonight because I'm really excited to show you guys the Whipple startup. So yeah, let me start it one more time. guys so that's gonna wrap it up make sure you slap the like button down below whipple 38 first start on the gt500 i think we're ready to go to the dino friday well almost we got a few more things but anyways make sure you go check out cody's instagram cody underscore five four we're gonna be doing a first start of his car very soon too hopefully a track rental dino of his car and this car should be a lot of fun so we'll see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.